And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yeti Fury. That's right, we're going to be starting off our meme tier Monday deck with a sweet looking one. We got all donation decks today. We got four viewer submitted decks today that should all be pretty good. Um, this one is going to be a deck uh, based on the Freljord Allegiance card. So we're going to be playing lots of Freljord. And our Allegiance ability is grant the top ally of our deck plus three, plus three, and overwhelm. So what we're going to be doing is using that with Avros and Trapper to put Enraged Yeti on top of our deck. And then uh, the Enraged Yeti help, you know, is just another way to help us hit our Allegiance, give that plus three, plus three, and overwhelm. And then suddenly we have a one mana, eight, eight, overwhelm. That should be really strong. Um, but then we're, we're going to go with other um, Overwhelm Yetis. we got Ancient Yeti in here being an Overwhelm Yeti. Other Overwhelm threats in general, Sejuani, Trundle, when Trundle's leveled up. Um, even Ruthless Raider is in here with Overwhelm. So good amount of cards with Overwhelm. We have the Outriders, which of course has Overwhelm itself, can give something else Overwhelm. And then we finish the game off with attacking multiple times with the help of Relentless Pursuits and also having a Battle Fury. This is our Fury part, so we'll have Yetis with Battle Fury. So Overwhelm Yeti, Battle Fury, attack again, and smash. That's the, that's the goal of the deck. That's our plan. All right, so we got Yeti Fury here. We're gonna just play it over in normal. That's what we do with our meme tier. Monday, we're gonna be playing five games. So our other decks, as you can see over here, we're gonna have a Stony Suppressor Heimerdinger deck. That combo, we're gonna be playing those two together. Um, for our second deck, we got Soraka Gems with Assembly Bot. Um, that should be pretty fun. We're gonna be playing that up third. And then Ol Yasuo Swain, we're gonna be playing it in normal and see what that deck looks like updated these days. All right, so we're starting with a couple of good two drops with Avros and Sentry and Ruthless Raider. I like both of those. And honestly, I like Elixir of Iron and Troll Chant against Noxus Bilgewater. Their deck's based on doing a lot of damage. And so I think both of these spells are going to be pretty helpful for us. Let's lead with Ruthless Raider. The Winter's Claw strikes. It's going to attack for more. And we do have protection for it with the Success. Elixir of Iron. So, good news is we just traded Elixir of Iron for a two drop. Bad news, a our Ruthless Raider will have vulnerable until the end of time. That is not something that changes. My family, my I want to get Omen Hawk in play right away. Give these plus one plus ones. These old eyes still see far and clear. There we go. That's why we want to do that right away. Get six seven Sejuani. That's a pretty awesome combo. Why haven't I played those together? That's an awesome combo. Yeah, that's still an awesome combo. It was a second ago, and it still is. <laughs> Just get some draw twos. Create a crimson and <clears throat> draw a card. I'm jealous. That was that was awesome. And I think I'm gonna just let. <clears throat> I know I have the troll chant, but I think I'm just gonna let that die. It's just vulnerable. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I shouldn't be letting that die. Put that vulnerable until end of time. We'll just get rid of that crimson card right there. All right, let's go to attacks. This is outrage. Cool. Draw another card. All these troll chants make you know really help protect our Sejuani. They have more than double the amount of cards that we have in hand. <laughs> we just started turn five. Yeah, Yasuo Swain later. Yep, that'll be fun. Everyone bleeds for the right of fries. Crimson Curator is one of like the rare cards that can create itself. Right? Like that's not very common. Like Ugh. Well, 
Well, it's gonna be such one turn. You're not the only one, babes. Huh? Carved from the savage cold. For silver, my dog. For gold, I listen. You're not the only one, babes. Huh? All right, we're taking three. Normally, I'd be uh, willing to attack with Sentry, Omen Hawk, fairly easily, but I think with... <clears throat> I mean, I guess that these things are 3-3s three also. But, you know, Curator, I really don't want to have you know, trade with Curator because they get the free card. Maybe I should be playing Outriders before combat. That's just a 4-4 Overwhelm. Their deck does a really good job leveling up Vladimir. United, nothing can stop us. You have like the Swain Leviathan combo at the top end. I like this deck. This is a cool deck. That's a big trundle. Show them our teeth. Sorry, one one Omen Hawk. This my ship. Sweet like me. Alright. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Get bloody, get paid. Ooh. Good card. Oh, that's pretty sweet though, Citrus Curry with these things. We should make maybe I'll make this deck for tomorrow. <laughs> we got more meme tier decks to be playing tomorrow. This deck's pretty sweet. I've got meat bigger than you. All right. Yeah, we're just playing Yasuo Swain and Meme Tier. Instead of rank, like if we're just going to play it in normal instead of rank, just to you know to give it a, a try. It's it's been a while since we've played Yasuo Swain. It's been a while since it's really been too effective. So we're just going to do that. I need to level up our Trundle. Give it overwhelm. <laughs> Meme tier is my favorite tier. Meme tier is the only tier. <laughs> Okay, Bubble Bear, we are getting out, meme tiered. Born for conquest. For the homestead. Let's go here. This is gonna be fun. You'll hurt somebody. I kind of need another Citrus Courier or something else that he heals these lounging lizards. Just got word, mate. We haven't met yet. All right, so they'll go to zero. That sounds good. Sorry, excuse me. So I don't know if they, I don't know what spell they had. I don't know what kind of option they had. But going to zero is not usually the best option. Okay, this deck's a little less meme tier that we're playing against here with Lee Sin and Zed. We're going to keep these three. Yeah. Maybe I should be mulliganing Battle Fury, but come on, we're playing Yeti Fury. I want the Fury part. We got the Yeti. And we'll have the Fury. I like it. 
Discard Lee Sin. That's a pretty sparkle fly. Ah, oh, they discarded Nopify. That's smart. Paint your feelings. I don't have much in this deck to Nopify. We do have single combat. And we have Relentless Pursuit. We do have a couple of cards. Fight or die. The Winter's Claw. Yeah, ideally Battle Fury could be a 5 drop. That, that would mean I'd have to take off turn 3 or turn 4. I don't know if I'm willing to take off turn 3 and turn 4 with these things. Wow, we're gonna have a lot of... A lot of Yetis. Okay. More Yetis it is. Pass. No! Alright, well... They got Lisa in. So this is gonna be a five six. These stories were true. I could see them challenging the five five with the five six. Darn. I was hoping they'd do that and then I'd save it, which I guess I can still save the four four. That's worth Oh my gosh, why went up? I meant to block this. Ugh, I meant to block that. Joke debate. I meant to block that. And here's where I'd paint my constellation. But then again, maybe they have <clears throat> not enough spells. Do that much protecting with Zed, okay, or Lee Sen. Okay, maybe not. I guess they do have enough spells. All right, I do not want them to block. Oh, I guess Ancient Yeti is a six-six. Okay, maybe we can have them block Ancient Yeti. Because basically, I don't want Ancient Yeti to die. Because of Battle Fury with Ancient Yeti. Can I paint you? No, that's the worst case scenario is that they just have Pale Cascade. Worst case scenario. I'm too airborne. Alright, so it's like I blocked the Mentor of the Stones the first time. But obviously now with the gems. They're gonna have enough. Cards for Lee Sin. Still. Next turn. We have all these 5-5s. Five they don't block one. We battle Fury. Maybe we can get there. Because we'll just be going to open attacks. They kill one 5-5 five five this turn. Conflict is all in the mind. I still need to cast another one to level it up. Lisen. So that's 22 damage. No, it's 24. Darn. I guess I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Or no, that's exactly evil, isn't it? Oh, never mind. Dang, that's way more than exactly evil. We're going to keep Averrozen, Sentry, and Ancient Yeti. And actually, I think I'm going to keep the single combat, too. To be able to pair with Ancient Yeti. That'll be for a little bit later. Oh, I love the Omen Hawk draw. Because of this matchup, we got to take care of Jinx and Draven. And so Ancient Yeti uh, can do a good job of that. 
I'll take that. Yeah, that Lee Sin card's pretty good. I don't know if y'all seen that card before. Sounds pretty good. They're out there. I'll spot them. Attack here before they play a Draven to block. Cool. I will take that trade. Fight the signal fires. Time for the main event. It's a little unfortunate having another Omen Hawk here. Because I don't want to play it, because this turn I want to have Ancient Yeti single combat. You should try blinking sometime. So I had to have the two mana still. <laughs> Alright, so I block the spinning axe. Discard Time rummage. For the money makers. And then we'll single combat these. Jinx is just so good that this is... <laughs> I feel like this is still worth it. Kill this Jinx. That card will just... Um, you know, will just dominate late games. This land is ours. So I'm really hoping they have... They don't have another Jinx. Oh no, they have another Jinx. Well, that's not so good. Well, that's not so good. Hopefully we draw something good to play this turn. Because eh. I don't really want to play Sen uh, Sejuani on their turn. I would prefer to play it on my turn to be able to try to take down Jinx. We definitely have to kill this Jinx. So they discarded a Draven in that. Nothing escapes my watch. Let's boogie. Look out for Reavers. I draw one card. Perfect. The winter's claw strikes. They still have a bunch of cards in hand right now. So not real likely they're gonna be unloading their hand immediately. Feel no fear, no and hopefully taking down this jinx, they won't have another one. Hopefully. Stay away from that switch. I don't want to have like Ruthless Raider challenge Jinx because then they could have like a get excited kill the Ruthless Raider and keep their Jinx alive. But yeah, next turn, Sejuani Battle Fury. Glad we kept the sentry back to block. Okay. Watch and learn. Ready the torches. Prove your worth. Is me going to nine? I think so. The problem with Fury of the North is that, again, get excited, 
kills my Sejuani. I may just want to play a new Sejuani and just let this one die. <laughs> Y'all are just saying, like, no, yeah, yeah. I'm not exactly sure what, what no, yeah, yeah means. Um... No Battle Fury, autographs better play. After the fight, kid. Uh, autographs after... Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, I was just... I was... Sorry, I was reading chat, and I... That is my bad. I was thinking I could play Sejuani and Trapper, and I could not play both of those. Alright, well, that's my bad. Yeah, did not have. I definitely needed to play Sedwani last turn. I have the mana to do this. Um, actually, let's go ahead and attack with both and have Fury of the North save. Or I could just simply go like this. That's actually probably the best. Yeah. Does he do this? So hopefully, hopefully we get another attack. I think we will. I think we're still okay. I think we're still okay. Let's boogie. So if they want to kill my fight enraged yeti, they're gonna have to like discard both spinning axes, which is an option. That's good. That's really good. Force them to, to discard a... Um, a get excited. That's very good. Alright, so they just discarded a get excited. So their other card is just as good as get excited. Alright, and we should have this. This is gonna hurt for you. So I gave them an extra turn. Um, but not playing that Sejuani before. But it's all good. Avaros and Outriders, Battle Fury. And GG's. We're going to two and one. Well fought. Take that. Ooh. Going deep with Twisted Fate. Twisted Fate's an awesome card. I right, we're gonna keep the Ruthless Raider. You know what? I'm gonna keep the Outriders also. With that plus three, plus three, and Overwhelm. That could be awesome. Omen Hawk? No. We've been doing so good starting with Omen Hawks. Give me the stuff! Stuff make happy! <laughs> they do have a lot of one damage things. Dredge Edgers, but then just, you know, Vile Feast and cards like that. So Ruthless Raider is pretty nice with the tough. Not dying to those one damage things. I bet this Ancient Yeti is going to be awesome later. It'll be later, but I bet it's going to be awesome. Leave nothing standing. Thankfully, our Ruthless Raider is pretty tough. 
can handle that. Cannot kill a Maokai right now. We have to wait till next turn. Hmm. Yeah, it's worth saving. We'll see. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if I should just hold the Elixir of Iron for these other things. Like, Elixir of Iron is an important card against, like, Devour Adepts, for example. But, again, I do still have a single combat. These are Alright, so we, we hit the, the Allegiance with the Elixir of Iron, but that's not our top unit. So our top unit... Um, I haven't drawn that yet. This is our home. But they're saplings. To elixir of iron or not to elixir of iron? That is the question. We did not elixir of iron. Whoa, two lure the depths down. Is that a Ooh. Have Rose and Trapper. So we're gonna have Trapper and Enraged Yeti. So we gonna play 6 6 Overwhelm and 5 5 Overwhelm this turn. Hunting Fleet's pretty good. What? Why? <laughs> Why do they want a Golden Narwhal? Just so they can do that? Okay. Not a very good fading memories. Sure. They'll probably have something better than Avros in Sentry. I didn't think they'd have anything better than the 5-5 five five as far as playing things first, but they'll probably have something better than Avros in Sentry. So I'm expecting the 6-6 six six to block one of the 5-5s five and we'll Elixir of Iron and save said 5-5. Five five. That doesn't seem like a very good block. So maybe they're <clears throat> I think their plan is like grasp the undying. Darkness hides my path. I'm not sure. Oh, I should just play the sentry. It's all good. We can play it this turn. Alright, so feel pretty good about this game for us. <clears throat> and of course I just want to level up the trundle. Yeah, maybe they challenge and, and kill my Ice Pillar. Life will be fine. Even if we don't behold an additional one for the Trundle. Because, yeah, we're definitely going just straight to attacks now, especially with this Plateworm Egg. <clears throat> definitely going right to attacks this next turn. You got single combating my 5 1 on their 7 5. And then playing sentry. Just so I have an additional so I have an additional attacker. And basically have these trade. Because next turn that's gonna that's gonna turn into a 10-8. They're one away from deep. 
Um, you know, a 10-8 is a little bit more annoying. So we'll have our 5-1 trade with it. We'll have our Overwhelms go first. Y'all can go next. And you, you come over here. Because, yeah, there's going to be a 10-8 going right to attacks instead of a 7-5. So kill my pillar and everything, but... Hide no longer. All right, but that'll still do it. GG's, we were gonna have relentless yetis, but they're dead. <laughs> so don't need an additional attack. I like Tom Lux. I think that's a cool combination. Get your Mage Seekers, get your Detains. I think that's a cool combination. I'm going to Mulligan Avarosen Sentry, actually. Not a card I Mulligan too often, but I already want to play like this on two, this on three. I decided I don't really need Avarosen Sentry for turn four. Take a look at this. Yeah, like that's awesome. Whoa, not trading. Cool. Got our Sejuani hit. We'll take that. Yes. If somebody uses Fury of the North and then you use Hush afterwards, yes, it will get rid of the Fury of the North. Control the mages. Keep the peace. We have blocking and trading. Um, makes it easier to attack like with my Omen Hawk this next turn. Also gets that thing out of play before like a Radiant Guardian. Um, you know, if, if that if they do. On the um, halt. They do give the challenger to that thing. Maybe it's better. We're just we're just gonna trade. There's always room for supper. Always. Like every time. Those stories were true. All right, I'm just going to attack. We may Relentless Pursuit this this turn. I kind of like having the single combat available. Closer, friend. should work out very well for us with this Relentless Pursuit. They walked around. Should work out very well for us. It's kind of weird that they have these things still here. There they go away. All right, GGs. Yeti's getting those extra attacks. And that's game. It was difficult not to play that trundle. Believe me, I really wanted to play that trundle on turn five. But that worked out uh, very well, going for just the attack and the Verlon's Pursuit. So there we go. There's Yeti Fury. Pretty awesome one. You know, lost to the Lee Sin. Lee Sin's pretty awesome, <laughs> too. But this deck felt felt solid. It, it did. It felt like it could could do some good attacking and everything. It doesn't, doesn't interact with the opponent the best, but that's why I love these single combats. I think that's a great region to splash here. I think this is a good splash with Demacia with single combat and Relentless Pursuit being the cards. Um, I think that makes a whole lot of sense. And, yeah, single combat, I think, is perfect with these one-mana 5-5s. Five and Averroes and Outriders was awesome, giving the Overwhelm. Um, you know, then our cards like Sejuani was 
was really awesome for us, taking down a bunch of Jinxes and things like that. Um, yeah, this, this deck played really well. Um, good, good old Freljord stuff, and Trundle was good. Uh, yeah, Trundle was good. Another option, if you don't have Trundles, if you want to make it a little bit more budget, um, Avros and Hearthguard, also an amazing card, and you can put this here and, and buff up the stuff in your deck. So if you need to, if you want to, uh, you know, if you don't have, like, the champions, that can be a replacement. <clears throat> um, but of course, I think that the Trundle's better. All right, but there we go. That's Yeti Fury. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always like seeing those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.